how do I get stock market data into Python? There are many people who are converting into manual trader into an algorithmic trader. So the first, when you are a manual trader, everything was given to you by the broker. So as soon as you log in into your terminal, you have your data there, you have your charts there. Don't need to get data. But when you come to algorithmic trading, the first hurdle you might face is data. Okay, how do I get data? For that, first of all, your bro broker can provide you data through API. So either you can get data from your broker or you can also get data from an external data vendor. So they generally provide the data through APIs and you can access that API through Python or you can also import CSV into Python. Like we already have data in the form of CSV. You can also import it into Python or you can also use libraries like Yahoo Finance. For example, let's try to import some data. Let me import pandas. So I already have data saved with me. Uh, I have saved CSV of Tata Motors. So let me try to import that. So let us name the data as Tata Motors. Tata Motors data. So to read the CSV, uh, you can use read CSV method from pandas. So for that, I'm just importing uh, read CSV method and you just need to provide the name of the CSV file. So currently this file which is under the name Mondra group learning session is a python file and I have say data file in the same folder as the python file. So I can just give the name name of the file and it will be able to import but if you have the file somewhere else you just need to add the path and then give the name. So Let's just run this. So we have got the data here. So this is the data of Tata Motors. If you can see, you have index as 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, like that. So let's just make date as index. So to do that, while importing, I can just take you index call is equal to 0. What it does is, when I give index column is equal to 0, it just starts taking column number one as index. It will forget column number zero and start taking index from one. So let's just edit this out and see how it changes. So as you can see, once I added this part of the code, so it started considering the first column, which was date as an index. So this is how you can get data. If you, the data is already saved in the form of CSV. And the second way to do it is uh, you can access to Yahoo Finance. So let's just get the same data through Yahoo Finance. So for that, uh, you just need to import Yahoo Finance library. Let's import it as wire. And once you're done that, let's create a data frame with the name data Tata Motors. You need to use a method called download from Yahoo Finance library. So yf.download. And first you need to pass the symbol, like the ticker of the stock. Generally, uh, Tata Motors is the ticker of the stock. Since it is uh, it belongs to Indian stock market it, and we are getting data from NSC stock exchange, we need to add dot NS at the end of the ticker so that uh, you will get the data from NSC. And after you pass the symbol, you need to pass the start date of the data. So let's get it from beginning of this year and after this you need to pass the end date of the data and let us get it till 2022 uh, let's get it till yeah so you get a message like this so 100 percent of the data has been downloaded now let's just read this and see so yeah, we have got the data and if you can see this is similar to the data we have imported. So either you can get it through a CSV or you can get the data using Yahoo Finance library. 